The first week on Seahorse Island was just flying by. Olivia helped Felix with various chores on the farm. Nothing too exciting, really. So let's skip ahead a bit in the story, shall we? I hope your first week here at Seahorse Island has treated you well. Felix continued, I have a favour to ask you. Can you help me to deliver some things to my friend Clara that lives in Manor Solidan just up the road? Olivia replied cheerfully, Of course, I'm always happy to help. What would you like me to do? That's great. Here's what I need you to do. First, can you go to the chicken coop and gather some eggs? Then go to my neighbour Henry and take some delicious honey from his beehives. Finally, Take a ride to Countess Clara's place and see if there's anything else she would like. Olivia's face lit up with anticipation. She loved the idea of going on an adventure. She exclaimed, Oh, I can't wait to get started. I'll go right away. Hello down there, I'm Henry and you must be new on the island, said the man in the tower. Olivia looked up on the tower and said, Hi, I'm Olivia. Well, I have been here for one whole week now. I'm living on Stogorda this summer and helping Felix on the farm, especially with the horse. That sounds really fun. I also love animals, said Henry, standing in his hunting tower and gazing out over the landscape. Curious, Olivia asked, but you look like a hunter. Oh, no, replied Henry. I used to be, but then, uh, never mind. Now I just enjoy looking at animals and take care of my bees, of course. Excitedly, Olivia said, Yes, the bees, that's why I wanted to talk to you. Felix wants some honey from the beehives. Can I take some? Yes, of course. You can take some honey. Just be careful with Ricky. He's an old cranky bee, Henry warned with a smile. This is a keeper, Olivia said excitedly.
This flower was nice. That goes to my collection, smiled Olivia. Oh, darling, you must be Olivia. How lovely to meet you, said Clara and waved her hands around like a queen. Olivia replied cheerfully, Hi, and you must be Felix's friend Clara. Oh yes, darling, I am. And it's such a delight to finally see you. Well, darling, I believe you have something for me. Olivia nodded and said, Yes, I have some eggs and honey for you. Oh, that's so lovely of you to help. Let's see, eggs and honey. Perfect. Now if you can be a darling and help an old lady with one more thing. You see, I have this amazing apple tree behind my beloved house here. Clara pointed towards the big white house. Now, be a real angel and get a few apples down for me. Perhaps you can shake the tree gently. Clara thought for a moment. Or maybe you can find a long stick or something to poke them with. Olivia nodded, ready for the adventure. OK, I'll see if I can figure something out. I'll be back soon. With all her might, Olivia tried to shake the tree, swaying it left and right and then back and forth, but no apples came tumbling down.
Clara's eyes sparkled with joy as she admired the beautiful harvest. Oh, look here, you found so many nice apples. Thank you, darling, for helping me. Olivia grinned and shared her excitement. It was so much fun jumping around with a stick and trying to hit them. What are you going to do with all these apples? Clara pondered for a moment. Well, I think I will give some to you, my darling, so you can feed them to the horse, and with the rest of the apples, I will bake a delicious apple cake. In that moment, Countess Clara handed Olivia a box filled with juicy apples, instructing her to put it in the stable to feed the horse.